hello and welcome to the CUD basics with open foam screencast. Today I will show you how to model a shell end to predex changer using the FreeCAD and CUD OF uh, add on. Uh, we will be um, uh, we will model a heat exchanger such as shown on the picture. We won't be taking the heat exchange nor baffles into account. We will model only the fluid flow through the tube parts on, on, of the exchanger. Uh, this is the blue colored uh, part of this picture. As I said before, we will be using the FreeCAD and uh, CFD OF add-on to prepare and, and calculate uh, our simulation. So we'll start with uh, starting the FreeCAD using the shell command FreeCAD. First thing after the FreeCAD starts, you have to make sure that you have installed required uh, add-ons such as CFD OF and uh, plot. Next, um, make sure that everything is uh, fine with the installation. You have to provide the open form intended directory here. and run the dependency checker. If uh, everything is okay, you will see it here. We will start with creating a new file and uh, uh, choosing the part design uh, mo mo module. We will be using uh, part design and CFD OF modules here. So, start with part design, create a new body and a new sketch. We have to select the plane on which we will be sketching. We will select, uh, we, we, we will select X, Y plane. So we will start with drawing an arc that we will be that will be part of our header. Notice the that the while we are moving our cursor through the line of this point, the, uh, they became yellow. It means that we are uh, we will be creating a constraint. In this case, fix the point uh, on this line. So we defined an arc. Now we have to close this sketch, uh, drawing two uh, two lines. Check that everything is okay. Yes. We see that we have uh, some redundant constraints, uh, so we have to select them and delete. Now everything should be OK. Now uh, we have to dimension this sketch. The only dimension that we will uh, define will be the radius of the, this arc and it will be equal to 50 millimeters. One thing, to move around is in FreeCAD, we, we, we use only the middle, um, middle mouse button to zoom this uh, view. And by clicking middle mouse button, holding it and then clicking left mouse button, you can rotate this, this view. So, we have this sketch fully defined, drawn. Now we can exit the sketcher and uh, revolve this sketch. It's uh, just fine, but here we can choose uh, along which axis we want to rotate this sketch. So, OK. Now we will create the pipes. We have to select this face. Notice that it became become green. Now uh, create a new sketch, and we will be drawing only one pipe, extrude it, and then we use mirror pattern. So draw this 
this circle add a radius and th in this case it will be equal to 8 millimeters and we want to this pipe be away from origin we want it to be 30 millimeters away now close this uh, this sketch and uh, extrude this pipe and extrude it for 200 millimeters okay now we want to mirror uh, to use the polar pattern we want to rotate this pad and we want to have six pipes the last thing, thing we the next thing we want to do is to mirror this header we have to define a new plane select the pad and select uh, this icon create a new datum plane and attachment wall mode we want it to be inertia pad phase 3 and inertia The next thing we want to do is to mirror this header. First we have to create a new plane, select the one of these pipes, phase 6 for example, and then select the inertia. Okay, we see that it will be enough to mirror this header. Next, select the mirror feature the re revolution and this select reference and this new plane ok so we have mirrored this this header the last thing we have to do is to create inlet and outlet we started by selecting this mirrored clicking, uh, clicking it to the right mouse button and selecting appearance we want to change the turn transparency of this model to see what's going inside and to see our sketch. So select for example transparency equal to 60, close and create a new sketch. Select this uh, XY plane and draw the circle here. Remember about constraints. After we draw this circle we have to constrain it. Firstly uh, its, uh, its uh, radius must be equal to 10 millimeters, and we want it to be 25 centimeters away, uh, mi millimeters away from this wall. So select this constraint, fixed length, select this point, this point and 25 millimeters. Now we can save this sketch Load this sketch and extrude it. Extrude it for 75 millimeters. Okay. Now the the inlets or outlets on the other side. Once again, create a new sketch. Create select the same plane. Change the transparency of this pad. And let's draw this circle we, w we don't have any lines here but now we have and we can fix this point on uh, this green line but we still don't have any reference here so we have to create it you can use this tool, creating an edge link to an external geometry and we can select this edge. Now we have some point and we can add a, add a dimension. So select this point, this point, 25 millimeters and the radius 
equal to 10 millimeters. We can close the sketch and extrude it. Once again, we want to it, uh, the length of the extrude to be equal to 75 millimeters, but this time we want it to be reversed. So, okay. And now we have finished our geometric model. Now we can start preparing a CFD OF and open foam case. We start with selecting a CFD OF mo mo module and uh, creating a new container. Make sure that you have selected this pad uh, element. One thing, if you want to hide something uh, from the view, we have to click on it and uh, push the space button. So, as you can see, we have a few, uh, few elements here and it corresponds to what we are doing in Fluent or OpenFoam to prepare our case. First, th first thing is the physics model. We have, to decide if we have to decide if you want our simulation to be steady or transient in time. Another thing, if you want it to be single phase, uh, incompressible, compressible and, and uh, if we want it to be vicious. Of course, we want it to be vicious because it allows us to model turbulence. Uh, the CFD OF in uh, FreeCAD allows at this time only to model Kaomega SST uh, turbulence model. So yes, we select the steady flow, single phase, incompressible and vicious. The next thing we have to define the fluid properties. We, ha we can select one of these uh, fluids from the fluid li library. We select air, we select water, as probably in this heat exchange the water is flowing. So after we define the physics model fluid properties, we have to uh, define the boundary fields. In our case, this phase 10 will be the inlet, this phase 14 will be the outlet, and the rest of the faces uh, are going to be walls. So select this, create a CFD fluid boundary, wall, select from list, select this part 002, select all faces except 10 and 14 and we are done here so we can uh, now we can see that these all black faces are going to be wall and now we are going to create an inlet as you can see uh, in this uh, in this window we also define the boundary conditions for, for velocity. So we said that the phase number 10 is going to be the inlet and define um, magnitude and normal, normal to phase this one and let it be equal to 5 mm meters per second and ok now we have to define the outlet select the outlet select from list this pattern phase 14 we are fine with these conditions so ok now we have to create the mesh. We select the pad and select uh, create a mesh using CF mesh, snappy hex mesh or G mesh. We will be using CF mesh as I think that it's most easy to use and efficient tool in this in this add-on. And we just have to define base element size. 
let it be equal to 2 millimeters. We have to write the mesh case and run the mesher. <coughs> After a while a mesh is generated, we can see it using this button, Paraview button. The Paraview will start and we will see our mesh. It's not the best mesh I've seen in uh, my life, but, but for this, this, uh, this tutorial it will be enough. You can see it by changing the opacity to maximum. So we will use this mesh for our simulations. Let's close the Paraview. We could start the simulation now, but one thing I, think I want to show you uh, is how to create a boundary mesh. Select this mesh and uh, the mesh ref refinement. Here we can define a refinement thickness, relative element size and boundary layers. For example, let's let's uh, refine uh, the mesh near inlet. It's the phase number three. So select from list phase part part two, phase number three, and done. And we can define a refinement thickness, let it be equal to 3 millimeters. We want to have five number five uh, la boundary layers and first uh, cell height will be equal to 0 0.5 millimeters. Click OK. Now we have to recalculate our mesh. So right mesh case, run mesher, and after a while we shall see our refined mesh. After a while, after a while, the mesh is completed, and we again can visualize this created mesh. So let's focus on our inlet. You can see that compared to the outlet, it's much. The mesh is much finer, and we have some kind of boundary layer here. And you can do the same with any of the, these, these uh, walls. So, after we finish with our mesh, we have to ini initialize the fields. We can do it by using potential foam, for example. Here you see initialize fields uh, window. And we can use potential foam or specifies the value values of velocity in this in this computational domain. We, we, we will use potential flow. So okay. And now we can start our simulations. Here you can define some of the simulation properties. For example, uh, in simple foam the crucial settings are max iterations and steady write interval. Also 
we can define here uh, if you want it uh, to be solved in parallel and uh, for transient pimple foam uh, calculations we can define trans transient write right interval or and uh, time steps so now we can uh, start our simulation click it double times here Cre click right click the case and run the solver after a while it should start if everything is fine and we will we will return to that solver after a while calculating as you can see a uh, few things first the default uh, cf mesh uh, uh, the default uh, cfd of uh, mo module settings aren't too good what i mean by that the simulation almost always will compute but it may uh, it may happen that they it the results don't have any physical sense so you must must be very careful with that uh, so how to edit the settings you have this edit button and after a while it uh, will open in a new window and you can enter the system directory and change a few schemes, a few solution as you like. Another thing, where the results are saved. Uh, if you click on Edit Preferences CFD, down here you have Default Output Directory, so you can change it as you like. Another thing, when you start the case, uh, here in CFD solver and here in a mesh you have uh, you have a case name this is the name of the directory that will be saved in the folder that described here so in in my in my case it uh, the mesh will be saved in this path in mesh case directory so we can assume that uh, our uh, calculations are complete, so we can stop it, stop them, and we can uh, re see the results. For example, we can see the velocity field, we can use one of these filters to see what's going inside. And it make it can make some sense. If you want to post-process the data in some other way that we can see here, mm, the uh, free cadence uh, CFDOF uh, don't really give us any tool to do it, you have to do it by hand. Uh, what I mean? Go to this uh, case, our case directory, and manually that, uh, and manually add all post process post processing such as uh, such as uh, mm, line samples point samples uh, uh, forces leaked etc etc and you have to uh, and you then have to run this old case not from the uh, free cut by using the this all run script how to do it uh, open it in terminal and r run or run script and it will start or if you uh, know what you are doing you can just run it run it using uh, simple form or pimple form, com form command so i think that's all uh, if you have any questions, write them down in comments and thank you for watching.